Let's mount up. So for the shooting gallery project, I'm going to be using Arduino boards to control the guns and the targets uh, for the gallery, and I thought it would be helpful to make a quick overview of what they are uh, and how they work, because there are lots of different applications you could use these guys in, uh, in your own hunt. Uh, you could use them to control props, of course, you can use them for lighting. Uh, there's just all sorts of different applications for them. Uh, so I wanted to go ahead and give you guys uh, just a quick look at how these work. So you may be asking yourself, what the heck is an Arduino? Well, this is it. And what it is, is a microcontroller board that you can use to control electronic circuits. Uh, so what does that mean? Well, it's basically a little computer that you can write programs for to do different stuff. So that could be something as simple as blinking an LED every second, or maybe something as complex as an irrigation system for your lawn uh, that goes and connects to the internet, looks up the weather, uh, decides if it needs to water that day, maybe uses the temperature to determine uh, how long it needs to water for, uh, that kind of a thing. So I think these guys are really great for haunt applications. Um, you can use them as a prop controller, you could use it to control lighting, uh, audio, uh, all sorts of different things. Uh, so just to give you a, a little basic overview of what this is, is this is your um, microcontroller, your processor chip basically right here. Uh, this is like your little computer. And then you've got input and output pins and power pins uh, that you can connect to. So an input would be um, different sensors. So maybe a light sensor or a temperature sensor uh, or a moisture sensor, that kind of a thing. Uh, anything that you can use to bring data into uh, the Arduino. And then outputs uh, would be things like LEDs, servos, uh, DC motors, that kind of a thing. Um, and there is a computer program that you download for this, and that's where you can write uh, programs for, uh, where you can write programs, and you basically um, connect to the Arduino using a USB cable, which is the port right here. This is the, the power port. So you connect to it with a USB cable, and then you upload the program to it, and then it will run it over and over again. Um, it basically runs on a loop. So you write your little program up and it just keeps repeating that um, depending and then taking into account any inputs that you've got coming in, um, that kind of thing. So, And there's all sorts of different add-ons you can buy for this. Uh, they're called shields. A lot of them are made to stack right on top of this. Um, so you can get ones that lets you, you know, like an Ethernet one which will let you plug into a network or a wireless one. Um, there's GPS sensors. There's all sorts of different things that uh, you can buy and make for these, which are really, really cool. So, um, just wanted to give you um, a quick overview of this. I'm going to be using this for the shooting gallery uh, to control the guns and then to control the targets. Um, and I think, based on what I've been reading and my research now, uh, I think it's going to work really well. Uh, and these guys, uh, to me, they're pretty affordable. For the Arduino branded one, it's $25. Um, but this whole project is open sourced, so anybody can build these. You could actually build this if you wanted to. Uh, you could buy all the different components, put it together, um, and you can also buy it from uh, other, uh, other third-party sellers um, on like eBay and other sites uh, and get them for a little bit cheaper. And they do actually make these in different sizes. They make uh, larger ones that have more uh, pins for input and output, and also a, um, a better processor and more memory. Uh, and then they also make ones that are really small that you could actually fit into like small props um, and small places where you would need a, a small little board. So uh, that give, should give you a basic overview of the board here um, and how it works. So here's a very exciting action shot of the Arduino. And this is pretty much your most basic program. Uh, it's just blinking this LED on and off. And uh, got the USB cable plugged into it. That's where it's getting its power from, uh, and as I mentioned, that's how you uh, upload your programs to it. So this is just a basic example uh, of what the Arduino can do. Okay, so I just thought I'd give you a look at the program uh, that makes that LED blink. Uh, this is one of the examples uh, that comes with the software, and it's this is you know pretty basic. Um, all of the uh, programs for Arduino come with 
uh, you've basically got two functions that you have to have in all of them. So you've got a setup function which you know gets things ready uh, to run. This runs one time, and then you've got a loop function, and all the stuff in here basically just repeats on a loop at whenever the board is powered on. So it just keeps going over and over again. So uh, in this case, what it's doing is it's telling the LED uh, is plugged into pin 13, so it's telling that to use it as output because you can choose if you want it input or output. Um, and then in the loop, basically what it's doing is it's turning the LED on, it's waiting for a second, and then it's turning it off. Um, and in these digital pins, it's basically either 0 volts or 5 volts or low or high. Uh, so that's how you control things. You basically say low or high, uh, on or off. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, and this is obviously a very uh, basic example, um, but I feel like, you know, I mean, I understand this stuff pretty well because, you know, like I said, I, I do work in programming, uh, but even a beginner, I think, could pick this up pretty quick, uh, especially with all the, the help that's out there and available um, online. So, yeah, that's just a look at the program. All right, so hopefully that gave you a basic understanding of how Arduino works uh, and what you can do with it. Uh, so now if you hear people mentioning it, uh, you'll know what they're talking about. Um, I'm going to be following up with a video showing you how I'm going to be using it specifically on the shooting gallery uh, and I'm working on a prototype so stay tuned and thanks for watching.